find Sarah from the upcoming. Um, and congratulations on this really, really wow. wonderful, enthralling three part movie, I suppose we could call it. Um, maybe we could just kick off with a brief introduction to Wheel of Fortune and Fantasy. How would you kind of summarize what this is all about? Um, well, they were. まあ、一つはこれは偶然をテーマにした話であるということ、まあ、偶然によってほんのちょっとまあ非日常的な世界を連れて行かれる、まあ、3人の女性の話、まあ、もっと,、えー、と仮に言いたいと思います。3人の女性がまあ言葉にならないような何かを探して、日常とは違う世界、まあ、自分の本当に言いたいことを見つける、まあ、そういう話じゃないかなという気がします。Um, I, I say first and foremost, the theme、uh, is coincidence here in these three、uh, shorts.、Um, and through these coincidences, it's the, the stories that are told are slightly out of the ordinary. It's about the, we see three women sort of searching for something that is ineffable.、Um, and、uh, it's through these coincidences that、um, those things are found.、Mm-hmm. And there's a, a very specific way. Um, that they're put together. The, the scenes almost play out in real time. There's a real intensity to them. So,、um, you know, what did you want to achieve with the way、um, you filmed these and, and your approach to how they play out? とまあ、先ほど言ったような一つのテーマとして偶然というものがある。ただ、まあ、それをどう見せようかということはすごくあの考えました。まあ、いくつか話のアイデアはあったんですけれども、その中からまあこの3つを、えー、この流れで見せるのが一番いいんじゃないかなということをまず感じました。So, as I mentioned, the theme here is coincidence, and I was trying to figure out how to show this idea, and I felt that、uh, this order with these three stories was the way to go. Then, well, ちなみにあのこの映画のインスピレーションの一つとして、まあエリックロメールっていうフランスの監督がいます。で、そのパリのランデブっていうまあとても好きなやっぱりサンモガのオムニバスの映画があるんですけども、その流れをとても参考にしました。Um, and in terms of、uh, inspiration of mine, it is the films of Eric Romare, the French filmmaker.、Um, and his, specifically, his films,、uh, Rendezvous in Paris,、um, that is a, of three short stories that are put together. So I definitely、uh, reference that. One of the first ones is an introduction to the introduction. It's a very clear and clear and clear. It's a very 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 clear and clear. で第2はもうちょっと、まあ、観客をもしかしたら嫌な気持ちにさせたりちょっと距離があるような印象を与える、まあ、この世界の、まあ、ダークサイドみたいなものがちょっとだけ見える、まあ、そういう絵ものになってますで第3話は、まあ、そこからもうちょっと、まあ、振り子が触れるようにしてあのもうちょっと温かみのあるあのこういうことが起きたらあの素敵だなと思うような、まあ、そういう観客にとって、まあ、どっかあったかい気持ちを与えてくれるような、そういう流れにまずしています。Uh, in terms of the first story, I do see it almost as like an introduction. It is centered around a, a triangular relationship、uh, that I feel like a lot of people can empathize with.、Um, and then in the second story,、um, there's, I sort of include perhaps a f- negative feelings that an audience might foster from. Uh, watching it,、um, I sort of include perhaps a darker side to society in there. There's a certain distance that's felt within the story, as opposed to, and then in, once the third film is there, I sort of、uh, give it a bigger range of emotions here and I include、uh, more warmth、um, and think about、um, how a story, I, I hope the audience sort of feels. How nice it would be if something like this actually happened, and I hope the audience can take away something warm from it as well. And you very much focus on female characters、um, throughout the three parts of the film, and you really manage to build a lot of complexity,、um, which is not something we always see on screen. So, why do you choose、uh, to represent female characters, and how do you achieve this, these multi layered,、um, you know? Three dimensional female characters. 
はい、ピアワーという映画があって、そういう女性があの主人公の映画でした。で、その前は、まあ、やっぱり女性を描くということは、本当に、まあ、自分にとっては難しいことだっていうふうに感じていたんですけれども、まあ、本当に長いあの撮影期間をかけて、まあ、その女性たちともコミュニケーションをしながら描いていくことで、まあ、なんかとてもそのか、女性を描くっていうことの楽しみを、まあ、まず見つけたっていうことがあります。Um, so, in one of my previous works, Happy Hour,、um, that film centers around women.、Uh, and before I made that film, Happy Hour, I thought it was actually difficult to depict、uh, female characters. But、um, in making Happy Hour, I spent a long time with these women to figure out how to tell their stories. And、um, through this process, I found sort of joy in doing, this, in doing so. でまあ、僕にとっての,その重要な発見っていうのは、まあ、これおかしな言い方かもしれませんけれども、あの究極的に、まあ、女性だからといって違うと考えることはま,あまずやめようということは思いまして、自分と違うっていうふうに思いすぎないこと、まあ、自分と同じようなものがこの女性たちの中にも、まあ、あの性別に関わらず存在しているんだ。だからまあ自分はこの女性たちを描くことはきっとできるんだという確信がま,あまずその時に与えられました。Uh, so, one important discovery that I had when I、uh, went through that was, and perhaps this is a strange way for me to explain it, but I, I found out that I shouldn't think of women as being fundamentally different from myself. I do feel that、um, regardless of gender, certain things are shared between us、um, and people. So, that's something、uh, that I discovered through the process. Tada, ma son Jose. と同じだからといって、まあ、女性たちが置かれている状況っていうのは、まあ、必ずしも同じではないということも理解しました。あの男性であれば、まあ、その自分の欲望を追うためにすごくシンプルになれるような局面でも、まあ、女性は同じようなことをしたら多分非難を受ける。まあ、この第二話の女性のように、まあ、性的に奔放であろうとしたら、まあ、社会的に罰を受けてしまう。というようなところが、まあ、女性に対しては、まあ、その性的な側面だけではなくて、あらゆる側面で、まあ、障害みたいなものが社会の中にある。なので、女性を描くと、必然的に社会を描くことになるんだということは、その発表の時にあのやっぱり学んだことでした。なので、それ以来、まあ、女性を描くということは、あのとてもあの面白いこと、興味深いこととして、あの自分にとってはあります。Um, however, even though I do think there are things that are shared,、um, at the same time, I also discovered and understood that、uh, situations can be different、uh, for women, even if、um, there are、uh, sort of certain things are shared. For example, Um, when women、uh, within Japanese society might、uh, follow through with their desires, they might be met with different circumstances as opposed to a man following their desires.、Um, and so, I,、um, and such as in the second story within my film,、um, there's a woman who is pursuing and through her desire, her sexual desire, and through that sort of、uh, gets punished by society in a sense.、Um, and so one thing that I do realize is that by depicting women's stories, I,、um, that inevitably I also end up talking about society at large.、Um, and so in that sense, I am very drawn to depicting women because、um, there's something very interesting there because of what happens and、uh, what you are able to evoke of society.、Mm -hmm. でまあ、ハッピーアワーとの違いっていうのは、まあ、でも世代っていうことかなと今回は思います。まあ、ハッピーアワーの時は4人の、まあ、同い年の30代後半の女性を描きましたけれども、今回はまあその20代と、まあ、30代、40代、まあ、それぞれ違うその年代の女性を描いています。でまあ、特に自分にとってはやっぱり重要だなと思ったのは、まあ、40代に入った女優さんたちと仕事ができたっていうことだと思います。まあ、その日本の映画の中で40代の女性を主役にできるっていうことは、実はとても少ない、特殊なことだと思ってます。でも本当に素晴らしい女優さんたちがいるので、まあ、彼女たちの物語っていうのがもっと語られるべきだと思うし、まあ、今回本当に仕事をしていて、あの素晴らしい演技っていうのを見せてもらったというふうに思ってます。Uh, one thing that I find to be different about、uh, this movie from Happy Hour is actually about、uh, the generational range that appears.、Uh, for example, in Happy Hour, the four protagonists were all around the same age in their late 30s.、Uh, however, in this、uh, film, we see stories about women in their 20s, the 30s, and 40s. We see different generations of women. And,、um, 
And I, it was really important for me to work with actresses in their 40s um, in Japanese films, contemporary Japanese films today. Uh, it's actually rare to see protagonists in their 40s. Um, and But there are many great actresses and actors who are in their 40s uh, and you see great performances out of them. And I was really grateful to be able to work with them. And, you know, forgive me if this sounds slightly ignorant, but I have the perception that Japanese society still ascribes to very traditional values. And, you know, do, would you say there's something taboo busting about the frankness with which your film deals with sex and sexuality and infidelity and desire? あ、あの、私がちょっとあの、わからないことなのかもしれ、わからなかったことなのかもしれないですけど、私のま、偏見かもしれないんですが、日本の社会っていうのはどちらかっていうと、結構古典的な概念を持っている感覚があるんですけれ
、キャストラジオしてます。で、その時間がとても重要なものだと思っています。そう、あい、I, what I definitely did was to have a long period of rehearsing、uh, for each story.、Um, but when I say long, I mean that it's longer than、uh, usual commercial Japanese practices.、Um, and by that, the long time, I, I had long times of、uh, in between shooting each story.、Um, for example, between taking one story and another, I had about a week to 10 days. まあ、やっていることはいろいろあるんですけど、この時間をかけることの一番の効果っていうのは、まあ、役者同士の間に信頼関係が生まれるっていうことだと思います。その役者同士がお互いに相手のことを信頼できるようになっていく。そうすると、まあ、役者が自分自身を表現できる幅っていうものがまあものすごく広がるっていうふうに感じています。それがまあ演技の基盤になっていると思います。あ、uh, so... I, I do a lot of things in that time that I spent, but、uh, by taking that time I, to rehearse, I think there is trust that gets built between the actors.、Um, and by, being able, by the actors being able to trust each other, I think the range of expression becomes much wider.、Um, and so that's something that I try to do, and it becomes sort of the foundation of where the acting begins.、Mm -hmm. You know, what does it mean to you to have your film showing as part of the Berlin Film Festival? And of course, although everything's virtual now, in some ways there are some greater opportunities for people to see、um, films that they might not have done otherwise now that everything is online. Eh, m m まず最初にベルリン国際映画祭のそのコンペのラインナップになれるってことは本当にとても光栄なことだというふうに思っています。あのまあ、いくつかの映画祭に呼んでもらって、まあ、だんだんその、まあ、映画祭のラインナップを決めるっていうことは本当に大変な仕事なんだっていうことをあの思うようになりました。特にそのコンペティションっていうのはあのその映画祭の顔になるものなのでそれを選ぶっていうことは、まあ、この映画祭はこういう映画祭なんだっていうことを宣言することだと。思います。まあそれ選んでもらったことはとても嬉しいことだっていうのがまず第一です。Uh, first, in regards to being in the competition lineup at Berlin, I'm very honored about this.、Um, you know, I have been, it's been invited to festivals, and I realized that、um, choosing a lineup is a very difficult task,、um, especially regarding in competition titles,、um, because I think that choice really speaks to the character of the festival,、uh, and I'm really grateful to be part of it. でオンラインということに関しては確かに残念です。そのベルリンという場所に行けない、その観客と実際に出会えないということはとても残念なことですけれど、この状況がものすごく長く続くとは、まあ、僕自身は考えていない。なのであの、これはとても特別な機会になると思います。とてもあの誰にとっても忘れられない、まあ、きっと映画祭になるんだというふうに思っています。なので、まあ、そういう場であのオンラインという形で映画祭を開こうと思ったそのベルリン国際映画祭に、まあ、敬意を。覚えているし、あのこの映画祭を僕自身存分に楽しみたいなというふうに思っています。Um, so I, you know, it is too bad that things are virtual and that I don't get to go to Berlin myself and be with audience members.、Um, but I also personally, I don't think this situation is going to last forever. So in some ways, I think this is also a, a memorable and unforgettable experience.、Um, and the fact that Berlin decided to do this festival online, I really respect their decision.、Um, and so with that in mind, I want to enjoy this opportunity as much as possible. All right, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for those, those wonderful、yeah. answers and for this really evocative,、um, incredible film. So, thanks for your time. And